iOS and iPadOS 18 have been officially announced at the keynote for WWDC 2024, and there are tons of features that Apple talked about and a lot that Apple didn't talk about. And so in this video, we're gonna go through all of the best features coming to your iPhone later this year. Now, quick disclaimer, Apple Intelligence, which is what Apple is calling all of its new AI features that you'll see in iOS, macOS, et cetera, uh, all of those features I'm gonna do a separate video on, so it's not going to be a part of this. This is just going to focus on all of the non AI uh, iOS 18 features, but be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. iOS 18 is finally letting iPhone users customize their home screen and control center even more. So now you can actually leave empty spaces with icons and be able to see your wallpaper. If you want some icons in the bottom and the top only, and then have that middle portion for your wallpaper, you can do that. And you can also change the icon colors. There's a little color picker down there. You can choose something to kind of match the aesthetic of the wallpaper, or you can choose some of the pre-made uh, options like light, dark, and there are tints where you can go ahead and scroll through the different tint colors that you might want, and that'll change all of your icons to make it match your aesthetic. On the control center front, it has a new look, and when you swipe down, if you keep swiping down, you'll see different pages for media, uh, home, and even connectivity, and it's just so much easier to find things. And of course, you can also customize the controls. You can add in different ones. You can resize them if you want to, and developers will be able to add its own features to these control center pages. Messages in iOS 18 gives users a highly requested feature, and that's the ability to finally schedule out a message to send later. All you have to do is type out the message and then hit the plus button and choose send later. And what it'll do is it'll give you a time and date that you can choose specifically. Uh, about two weeks out, you can send a message. And once that time and date hits, it'll automatically send that message out for you. So if you have a birthday that you remembered you know, the day before, but you don't want to obviously wish them a happy birthday, schedule it out and it'll be sent to them at that time. Tapbox also got an update and it can now support any emoji or sticker. You don't have to choose from the current options that you already have, although those have been kind of updated to feature some color, which is nice, but you can add in any emoji. And uh, there's a new formatting text option available to where you can have bold, italics, you can have underlined words or strike through them. And there's even effects. We've had these effects for entire phrases, but now you can do it for just a word, a letter, you can do it for an emoji or a sticker and there are tons of options to choose from and there's a little icon here at the top right that you can see above the keyboard and you can go ahead and choose those different effects quickly and easily. Apple also briefly mentioned RCS in passing. That's still coming later this year with iOS 18, uh, but they didn't really showcase much. But here's an image that kind of shows you uh, at the bottom here where you enter the message. It does say text message RCS, and then you can see all of the things that have been sent. There's an audio message that's been shared there. The bubbles are still green for those who are wishing that wasn't going to happen. Sorry, they are still in fact green. And lastly, if you're off the grid, uh, but you need to shoot off a text that's not to emergency services, you can now use the satellite to send a message to family and friends. Maybe you're on a hike and you wanna let them know that you have reached the top of the mountain. You can go ahead and send a message if you're connected via satellite. And you have to have an iPhone 14 or newer to take advantage of that feature. The Photos app has been completely redesigned in iOS 18 and also adds a slew of new features. Uh, but mostly you'll notice that it just looks really good. A lot of emphasis on photos that not only look great, but are important to you and have less clutter. And speaking of less clutter, there are now filters that you can do to sort of like filter out some of the receipts that you don't wanna see, or maybe a bunch of screenshots that are littered throughout your library. You can filter those out so that you can just access those later on in a separate section, but not see it in your entire photos library. You can also browse through topics like recent days, trips, people and pets, and you can even pin your collection to get to those favorite albums quickly. And speaking of favorites, there's a new carousel section which will highlight you know, the most important photos. Obviously your favorites is a section that's part of that. And it's in this beautiful, nice poster look that just really adds to the whole appeal of the new photos app redesign. The mail app's also getting some pretty big changes, kind of the way it looks and feels, but mostly it's just all kind of tied to the new categories feature. So if you are familiar with Gmail and its 
categories. Basically the same thing. Up at the top, you'll see a bunch of different categories like promotions, transactions, updates, and primary, which is reserved for all of your important emails, which also you can just filter through all if you'd like to still see all of the emails in one list. But if you want kind of more of a focused inbox, you can manually sort those through if you need to. But Apple will also just do its best to figure out which email belongs in what category. But if for some reason the Mail app kind of filtered your mom's emails into the transactions category, you can go ahead and move that and filter it into the right section if you need to. Messages can also be grouped by sender. So if you have a bunch of United emails, for example, and you wanted to just check out all of those United emails, you can check out that group and quickly see uh, your flight details or transactions that you might have had from that specific group. Safari for iOS 18 also brings us a new highlights feature, which will kind of scan the page and highlight relevant information that you might want. And as you're scanning through that article, it'll go ahead and highlight the different things that you might be interested in, like people, places, music, etc. It'll go ahead and showcase those for you as you scan throughout the page. Also, the reader section has been redesigned and you can go ahead and generate a quick summary of the article so that you can kind of get a quick TLDR of what you're looking at and then you can decide whether or not you want to read the rest of the article later. In the notes app, there's a new live audio transcription feature where you can go ahead and start a recording inside of a note and then it'll automatically transcribe all the text that it hears in that note. You can have it all in one place and be able to easily search through that text uh, to find whatever information that you might want at a later date. Also in notes, you can easily solve math expressions pretty quickly. You can just go ahead and type one out. Maybe you have a little expense report that you have. Uh, you can have notes automatically solve all of that without having to bounce around to the calculator app. It'll just do that all for you inside of the notes app, which is really nice. There's also the ability to add collapsible sections and you can highlight text to make your notes stand out a little bit more. In iOS 18, Apple has now taken the password section of the settings app and made it its own standalone passwords application. And the app kind of reminds me a lot of the Reminders app and the way it's designed and has categories for easy navigation like pass keys, two-factor codes, which can actually be generated right inside of this app now. It was kind of buried in settings before, but you can now generate two-factor authentication codes and you'll have its own section for that. Uh, there's even sections for Wi-Fi passwords, security risks, and recently deleted passwords. You can even uh, easily navigate through the shared groups for those passwords that you might have shared with your friends and family. And also, you can access this on iOS, iPadOS, Mac OS, you can get to this on the Vision Pro and a Windows PC. Lastly, let's go through some quick rapid fire iOS 18 features. Inside of the Apple TV app, there's a new Insight feature, which will basically work just like Amazon's X-Ray feature, where you can see what actors or actresses are currently on screen at that moment. And you can also see what songs are playing in that movie or TV show. And if you want to, you can add that song directly to your Apple Music library, which is really, really cool. AirPods Pro are also getting voice isolation and hands-free Siri interactions. So if you ask Siri something, you can then respond with either a yes or a no by just nodding or shaking your head. Apple is bringing tap to cash, which is basically Venmoing people without having to share your email or phone number if you don't want to. It's just a much faster way of sending cash via Apple Pay, and I am totally here for it. And the Maps app also brings topographic maps and trail networks, and you can save those trails for offline use. So that's it. That's a lot of the iOS 18 features that I think are some of the best ones out there. But of course, there are tons that Apple really didn't even talk about at all. And we'll be doing videos on that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Turn on notifications so you don't miss that video and the Apple intelligence, Mac OS, iPadOS, all of the features that we're going to be working on here over the next month or so. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos. This has been Down with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.